be ceramic coating this Tesla Model 3, 2022, blue. But first, let's start off with that exterior decon wash. So in this step, we just use a simple alkaline degreaser as a pretreatment to get some of the uh, dust and grime off the paint first. Let that you know sort of saturate and emulsify the dirt. Let this let it loosen up, and then we just rinse it off. Now we're going to go in and hit it with our two bucket uh, contact wash. the other side and then we'll get into the next step which will be uh, the clay bar decontamination iron decontamination There, there we have it guys. This paint has been fully decontaminated with iron decontamination and a strip wash. And it's so perfect that we don't really need a clay bar treatment. So uh, yeah, you can just feel how smooth it is. If anything, maybe a clay mitt. A clay mitt might actually be a good step for, uh, if you don't want to do a clay bar, but yeah, this paint is so perfect. This coating, this coating is going to come out really nice.
guys. Uh, so we just finished the exterior decon wash. Now we're about to uh, do a paint enhancement and then we're gonna apply this Adams Graphene ceramic coating. I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to do it yourself. That's why I even did it uh, with a hose. Uh, you don't even need a pressure washer. Just need the materials. You get this kit on Amazon. Um, and funny enough, this client actually bought this kit on Amazon, but he still reached out to Electric Mobile Detailing to have it installed anyways. Yeah, he just said, hey, here's the kit. I bought it, I was gonna do it myself, but I didn't have the time. Saw your offer online. I was like, hey, that's a great deal. So they reach out to Electric Mobile Detailing or text the number below and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll apply a ceramic coating. Electric Mobile Detailing is a UV detailing platform. So we have detailers and ceramic coating specialists in your area. And the platform is to connect you, the Tesla owner or EV owner to a, a qualified mobile detailer in your area to apply professional grade ceramic coating, DIY ceramic coating. We have different price points depending on your needs, but this is the product I use. It works great. So let's get into it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but some scratches there. And also I got this paint chip. Yeah, this thing's already looking so good. We haven't even done the paint correction yet. that rock chip repair we're gonna kind of let it dry and blend but i just want to tell you guys this microfiber right here it's pretty soft microfiber it's the one that came in the tesla paint chip repair kit this microfiber when applied against your paint dry it will scratch your paint because you're not supposed to take a dry towel ever to your painted surface even the really fluffy ones you really always want to have some sort of lubricant but i, I literally you know how i know because i saw it right happen right now i was wiping the paint off and this little towel leaves some little minor fine scratches so uh, that's how soft the tesla paint is it's actually you know most cars you can scratch with a towel if you don't use proper techniques but that's really why you want to get the car protected add a little bit of uh, scratch resistance and use really soft plush microfiber towels with either a quick detailer or some sort of uh, drying aid or lubricant when you're uh, taking a towel to the surface of your paint so Let's go ahead and uh, do paint correction. Uh, now we're getting into the paint correction phase. To get paint correction, really good results, you're gonna want a DA polisher or a dual action orbital. See how it oscillates and spins. Also, if it gets stuck, it'll stop spinning. It really helps prevent you from damaging your paint. And then you're gonna wanna use a compound to get heavier scratches out, heavier swirls and scratches, and a polish to get uh, the finishing results that you really want. I happen to really like this 3D1. It's a hybrid compound and polish. So it's a diminishing polish. It starts out as a compound, works its way into a polish. Gets really good uh, results in one step. I can't really go over the whole scope of paint correction in this video, but more videos to come on that. Make sure to subscribe for that. But you know, if you wanna just do a quick polish, get a DA. an 
wipe or a surface prep in this case to wipe the whole car down. So let's get it. Bam. Go ahead and wipe this off. So this alcohol wipe step is really important to get all the remaining residue. Get a perfectly clean panel before we apply this primer coating for the optimal results.